comes the harm, and I harm myself the teeth against those who act. Theatre has a fine and honorable tradition of providing a great space where talent, innovation, vision, freedom of thought and expression intersect and provide the society an opportunity to examine, critique, admire, teach itself and move to a higher desirable social political level. In cognizant of this fact, the World Theatre Day has been celebrated in the month of March since 1962. Would you still want me if I wasn't an immigrant? The World Theatre Day uh, is supposed to be celebrated yearly, every year, that is 27 March, every year. So today, we decided to join the rest of the world to mark and celebrate the World Theatre Day. Today, uh, the rest of the world is also celebrating this day. The global event is going to take place at uh, UNESCO head office in Paris. Kenya is also a center uh, for ITI, known as the International Theatre Institute Kenya Center. So it is the sole uh, organization mandated by UNESCO to organize this event. So today we congregated here with all the thespians and all the artists and all theatre practitioners across the country to celebrate uh, and mark this day. Theatre has been used in Africa and other developing countries as an effective tool for the liberal struggle in Africa. In Kenya, the Kenya National Theatre located at the Kenya Cultural Centre in Nairobi was used on an equal measure but also artists found a platform to explore their talents. One thing that I've been able to achieve today is that this platform that we've offered the artists, they've been able to speak out and offer their, uh, rather speak out their ambitions or their uh, visions through the presentations that they have done here. We have had a play, we have had a spoken word, we have had dances, traditional dances from uh, our esteemed Calabash uh, Arts Ensemble. I mean, and it has been a fulfilling uh, experience for them. So. Personally, I want to say that uh, World Theatre Day is a day of fulfillment for artists, where artists convene, they get to meet each other, they say hi to each other, and most importantly, get to understand professionally how they can be able to participate or do what they do, and that's art, in developing education through theatre. Theatre for education, and uh, guided by the of course, the new competency-based curriculum, which recognizes performing arts uh, in one of the tracks uh, in the middle level in the competency-based curriculum. I think it's the artists who don't come with beggar bowls, they come with creative expression. And so I think that um, I throw this back at the artists, the writers, the educator, and you, the actress, educator, how can we promote uh, the quality in performance, in creative expression among our people? Theatre professionals, theatre organizations, universities and theatre lovers all over the world commemorate this day by having events and discussions around theatre, increase awareness on the value and importance of the art form theatre and act as a wake-up call for governments, politicians and institutions which have not yet recognized its value to the people and to the individual. Today's theme was uh, unraveling UNESCO goals and how artists can contribute and benefit from them. Most artists in Kenya and uh, across the country do not realize the goals of UNESCO. So today we wanted to unravel them. And since we were having uh, artists as participants, we wanted them to understand what the goals are and how them they can, uh, they can uh, contribute to those goals. <laughs> The event is funded by different stakeholders in the art industry, and this year was the second Thank time so. it's celebrated here Elani. in Kenya. <laughs> Conveners for this event today uh, is Mabingwa Theatre, in partnership with uh, uh, ITI Kenya, as I said, International Theatre Institute Kenya. It's an affiliate of UNESCO, and uh, it's the, the Kenya Centre for International Theatre Institute. Globally, there are about 99, 99 of them, 23 in Africa and uh, two in East Africa, the Ugandan one and now the Kenyan one. And we actually want, we are working towards making the Kenyan one more amplified and more vibrant than any of them, any of the 23 in Africa. So, uh, and of course we have the Kenya International Theatre Festival that uh, presented a very uh, thrilling performance today. We also have the Kenya Cultural Centre Association of Artists 
and um, we also have the Youth Motion Kenya that uh, does, uh, it's an inter-county youth forum on business networking for trade. So the Youth Motion Kenya uses art uh, to, uh, to promote trade within the African context, guided by the continental free trade area framework. Each year, an outstanding figure in theatre or a person outstanding in heart and spirit from another field is invited to share his or her reflections on theatre and international harmony. The World Theatre Day is just a single day that has been dedicated by UNESCO for artists to find fulfilment in it. But art needs to be celebrated daily because I personally believe that uh, even the, life that, the lives that we live, we, ha we actually live art because by um, personally being gifted in a particular talent, I mean, we, I live it and I, I use it to better the society every day and also to better myself. So moving forward, I would uh, I want to urge all the artists out there, fine arts, those who practice, do fine art, uh, performing arts, all art in all its forms. Today is a big day and we ought to amplify it in uh, every place that we are in. Also, uh, moving forward, there is uh, an upcoming event that is huge and it's going to be the very first ever. It's called the World Arts Performing Capital. We are looking forward to launch a request to UNESCO that Kenya hosts it for the first time in 2021 and uh, we believe and we want to hope that it going to be granted to us and we're going to tell the world out there that Kenya is a home for performing arts. So I look forward to work with the other artists. It's not a single person's job, but uh, it's for all of us, combined effort. So artists out there, this is your day and happy World Theatre Day 2019. One, we wanted to create awareness on this World Theatre Day 2019. World Theatre Day is supposed to be a celebration. A celebration actually is supposed to be a culmination. There's supposed to be a series of events uh, since year one. So this we're calling the end year for artists. So when the, uh, when the year started, artists have been doing various works, various uh, activities across the country. So today we were supposed to come together and uh, celebrate the different works we've been doing. So uh, uh, we came together, we celebrated it, but majorly from the speeches that were given from the panel that we had, uh, what I can say, the parting shot I've gotten from them is that everybody is an artist. So once we get out of this place, we are going to work full, full sources together, synergies together, to see how we can uh, harness our energies, build art, develop art, and at the end of the day, earn from it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.